guys this is your truly dr. angel metaphysical practitioner and today I am going to be summoning Samuel Kevin Samuels and pulling his energy um, there's a lot of questions around what happened with him a lot of people know him as a controversial youtuber that gave shocking advice to um, men and women of color and then um, having a shockingly quick or surprising demise. So I came outside um, on my back yard to be in a nice peaceful place, a calm place that I can really summon his energy. Um, I didn't wanna do this reading right away because I wanted to get, sometimes you have to give people or spirit beings time to realize that they are no longer with us and um spirits um just because you're absent from the body does not mean that you're not present um in the spirit realm or that you cease to exist so all he did was shed off his body and so for about 40 days there's a window where usually people who pass suddenly or people who are not ready to die um they don't realize that they have passed and they can still walk this earth and if you are spiritually inclined or spiritually in tuned you can communicate with them now i know a lot of christians are going to say oh i don't believe in mediumship but for 40 days after jesus shed the physical body he walked this earth and he began to show himself to um his disciples and various friends and then peter i mean not peter but there was doubt and thomas and he says i don't believe it you're a spirit you you know you can't be here and he told doubt and thomas touch my hands and see that it's me so what i'm going to try to do for you guys is i just want to get information because there's a lot of rumors floating around saying that he was possibly murdered or he possibly had a heart attack i just want to know what kevin samuels has to say if he can um take us back to that day i may use some cards or i may not um it depends on how well i get connected to his energy and also if he's willing to speak with me and use me as a medium to get a message across so i'm um, i'm gonna show you guys that um whoo so my candle just blew out so i think he's ready because a, a wind a gust of wind just came um, my candle did go out and I'm, I've been meditating with this candle. I'll show you guys this candle here. I got my incense going because, uh, of course, we want to protect ourselves from various energies and different things like that. So let me go ahead and get started. All right, guys, I'm going to get started. I just stopped the camera to get some paper. Today is May 17th. 2022 and I want to go ahead and start meditating and I want to call the energy of Kevin Samuels all right Kevin Samuels Kevin Samuels Kevin Samuels Kevin Samuels Kevin Samuel Kevin can you please come to this location where I'm at? Can you please come to this location where I'm at? Can you call your attention here? Kevin. Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels. What can you tell me? Mm, okay. So I'm acknowledging that uh, Kevin is here. I'm, I want to acknowledge you. Because I was, just, I was just getting ready to just jump into this reading or to jump into communicating with him. And he's telling me uh, something about that's not proper protocol. Okay? <laughs> that's not proper protocol. It's the energy that he's communicating to me. Uh, he wants an introduction. So he wants to be respected. Um, I hear you. 
So he wants to be respected. Okay, we respect you introducing guys, Kevin Samuels, to this space um, in my backyard under the tent. He says it's nice out here. All right. So Kevin, I'm gonna flip the page. I'm gonna flip the page. And I just wanna jump right into um, asking you some questions. Are there any regrets that you have from the life you lived when you was here on this earth? And there, are there any regrets? Okay, so he's saying to me, I would have done things differently. I would have done some things differently. Um, and this is concerning family. This is concerning um, people that he was attached to uh, legally, uh, getting marriage. I would have done things differently um, with mom. I would have done things differently with my daughter. I, I thought I had more time. I was working um, to become successful. So I'm speaking and, and, and I and me because I'm, I'm allowing him to speak through me. Um, I, I, I know a lot of people felt I was successful, but I wasn't where I wanted to be and I was pushing myself. I wasn't where I wanted to be and I was pushing myself. Had I known that my time was up, I would have done things differently. I thought I had more time. Okay. Okay. So you thought you had more time. And um, so a lot of people are upset and you're deaf. There are some people who are rejoicing and celebrating. That's to be expected. He's cutting me off. He's cutting me off. He says that's to be expected. Um, I was controversial in life. Okay, and when I say in life, because he's still here with us, you know, in spirit, he's and when he was in his physical body, he was controversial. So he knew that at whatever time he passed, um, he would be controversial. I get some sadness here, guys. I'm feeling sadness. I'm feeling depression. I'm feeling tears. Kevin, is this tears now? Or is this tears were you depressed before passing I feel sad now I feel sad now I feel depressed now and I didn't you guys I, I, I'm a communicator I'm communicating for him so he's saying and this is his words this is his language I didn't have my shit together I preached having your shit together. I didn't have my shit all the way together, but I was well on my way. Okay? I was well on my way. So, Kevin, I want to ask, and I'm trying to do this delicately, and I, you already know, he's, he's, he's acknowledging that he already knows that I'm going to ask about what caused his passing Whew. see I'm having a hard time catching my breath what caused your passing he's giving me symptoms okay he's giving me symptoms um, I I can't breathe I can't breathe my heart is is pumping hard but I can't breathe so his heart is pumping, but there's no oxygen in the blood. He's showing me that my heart is pumping, but there's no oxygen in the blood. And then eventually my heart stops. Okay. So when you say I can't breathe, is, is, is there someone restricting your breath? Like, is there someone manually on your throat? Is there no, no internal, internal? I, I was panicking, he says. There's panic in my eyes, panic in my eyes. 
I'm looking around the room. I'm looking around the room. I'm observing the person in the room with me. And I can't breathe. But my heart is pumping. I can feel it. I can hear it. But I can't breathe. I know that I'm going out. Now, when you say going out, are you dying? Do you know you're dying? No, I thought I was passing out. Honestly, I thought I would be revived. Honestly, I thought that they would bring me back. But I left. I went from wanting to take my next breath to standing next to my body. And, and, and standing next to your body and spirit. Yes. There was peace once I was next to my body. I didn't have to worry about the struggle or that my body was shutting down, but I wanted to stay with my body because I wanted to get back in it. I'm gonna ask the question, Kevin, that everybody has been asking and I'm gonna do this delicately as possible because there are a lot of conspiracy theorists out there that feels like you were murdered um were you murdered i can't speak on that uh can you can you tell me why you can't speak on that because it was a combination of things a combination of pre-existing conditions, a combination of spiritual warfare, and a combination of substances in my body. Not not one alone, but all all three. Hmm. Okay. Do you regret there's a woman that was with you? Do you regret um, her being present? at your death no because I wouldn't have been found for a long time that was destiny so it was destined for someone to be present ah uh, uh-huh he says uh-huh he doesn't say yes he says uh-huh like what a uh, he has this type of attitude where he's being smart um What's it like for you now, Kevin? You know they say hindsight is twenty twenty. I can't change a damn thing now, he says. That's his that's his words, not mine. I can't change a damn thing. I do get um can I communicate with them your energy? So he's shocked at some of you guys. I'm appalled, he says. Um, he thought, he thought in his professional realm that there were people who cared more about him and my death has been monetized, he says. My death has been monetized by colleagues and friends. Um, are you really shocked though? Would you have monetized their death? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there's something he's giving me about uh, his death being monetized. His death being monetized. But... Um, People, I, why why are you upset that your death is monetized when you know that like you are very popular on YouTube and people are going to talk and people are going to get paid? Because there's not a reverence for my family. There's not any contribution uh, or reverence for the family. His words, not mine. Now, there may be somebody is out there contributing, Kevin, to your family. We just don't know about it yet. So, are you sure that's what you want to say? I said what I said. 
that's what he says i said what i said can you run me through a typical day in your life what it was like stressful okay i get stressful people trying to destroy me people trying to destroy my reputation there was a lot of people he says coming for me and it was energetically draining i would i cared a great deal y'all may not believe this but he's saying he cared a great deal about what people thought of him to the point of my demise I cared a great deal. Uh, Kevin, do you mind if I pull some energy cards for you right now? Like, do you have any messages? Are there any people? Don't be like me. When you say don't be like me, what do you mean? What do you mean? So he has a message to those of you out there, the viewing audience. He says, don't be like me don't take time for granted i wasted time you know you say you wasted time a lot of people might say that you were successful that you accomplished a lot yes but life is not about money i, I couldn't take money with me i couldn't take the people i was trying to impress i couldn't take their opinions of me high value opinion i, I left it all behind and I'll be forgotten tomorrow. I'll be forgotten next week by most. So the things that I was striving to gain popularity and attention for and money for, I, I squandered my time and I wasted it because now the moment I took my last breath, I became very aware that I was alone. I became very aware of my aloneness. I became very aware that I wasn't able to say goodbye to the people that mattered. I would have liked to say goodbye to my family. I would have liked to let the people that mattered know that I loved them, but I squandered my time and the clock ran out and the things that I valued and thought was important, like money, it couldn't go down with me. People's opinion, people's respect couldn't go with me. But the people who loved me unconditionally, the clock ran out on me expressing to them that I loved them. Well, I can express that now and maybe they'll watch this video. <laughs> he says, girl, ain't nobody watching your videos. <laughs> well, perhaps, perhaps the people, you know, perhaps your people or some people that cared about you will pick a clip of this video up and maybe one day your family will hear that you love them and that you wish to have said that you love them. And, 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 and goodbye he says perhaps you're very well spoken you're very well spoken you know um, I, I couldn't stand watching your videos when you were here here you is he's holding a heart yeah he's giving his heart to family he's holding a heart yeah so Kevin's family, Kevin, if somebody's watching this or somebody comes across this video, I don't care when it is, the message that Kevin has for family and people that he loves is that I wanted to be able to let you know myself that I loved you. Okay? That's his message to you. And he says, turn off the, the, the computer. Somebody, someone in the family is female, uh, is very distraught. Somebody connected to Kevin. Um, he's been visiting with you. You'll know who you are. This is a woman that's, well, ooh, look at the snake. The bird is chasing the snake. Somebody connected. Somebody connected to him is distraught. I just saw a snake and I just saw a bird chasing a snake so Kevin what 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 symbolism is that 
Okay. Okay, so the person that's distraught, there's a person that was connected to Kevin Samuel that is on the run. Why is she on the run, Kevin? You've been visiting her. I've been visiting her thoughts. I've been visiting her dreams because she was a snake. She was a snake. Interesting that you should say that, being that there's conspiracy theorists that there's a bunch of conspiracy theorists that feels that something happened to you that was not, um, you know, that there was foul play. Can you can you tell me more about this person that you that comes in the form of a woman as a as a snake? Now, is it is it this woman that was with you the day you passed? That's all I got to say right there. Okay. So, there was some deceit. If you guys can see this, there was some deceit around Kevin. Uh, and upright, somebody is being deceitful in hopes of getting money. But they were unable uh, to get money. Unable to get money. So, there was some deceitful people around him. He understands that. He understands that the deceit was connected to uh, somebody trying to pull at his heartstrings. Um, he's saying it was, it was hard to make him fall in love anyway. Like, you know, that. Okay. All right. How do you feel, Kevin? I'm going to take these up, these cards up, because I want to ask you some questions about this woman that was with you at your passing that um, we appreciate for trying to save your life. And, mm, okay. So I'm getting some messages on that. I'll just keep it to myself. Um, but the woman that was trying to save your life or the woman, let me just say this because you, you have some words. Uh, the woman that was with you when you passed away, what are your thoughts now in hindsight being 2020? What are your thoughts on um, this woman and how the internet has been bashing her and treating her? What are your thoughts on this woman that was present with you? Hmm. Okay, so there's some secrecy there. There's some pretend emotions, some pretend emotions. I'm going to just lay these cards out. There's some secrecy there. There's also some spell work in the energy or dark energy here. Or, um, and, 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 and this is how he feels. So these two cards are reversed. Um, I get the energy. She was working on something, working on me. Okay. There's another woman in this 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 energy here. And here's the death card. You guys see that, right? I'm gonna pull this closer. So, the question is, did she have something to do um, with his death or how he feel about her? Um, he feels like she was unable to save his life. She worked on him. Here's the, I'm working on it. Um, this deals with career. So, she had a career where she was trained to work on people that was dying. So, he feels that she was working on him. She did do CPR compressions that's what he's telling me he's saying she did do cpr compressions but there's some secrecy there as well okay kevin 
the, I don't know what this other woman energy. There's another woman energy in, these, in, in, in here when I talk about the woman that was present with him. And both of these women are reversed in his energy. Um, and there's secrecy. There's a secret being kept. So, yes, she did CPR. Um, she was unable to revive him. But there's another woman connected to somebody. Um, that's just, I'm going to leave that alone. And he wants me to stop at, yes, she did compressions on my chest. Okay? You When you, you say it like that, Kevin, I want to ask more questions. Did she do mouth to mouth? Did she put oxygen? No. He's stopping me right now saying no. She did not put oxygen in me. She did not do breaths. Perhaps if she had breathed in my mouth, um, oxygen would have gotten in my blood supply. Okay. So you feel like she didn't do enough. I feel like she did compressions. I want to ask, because um, you seem upset that the energy has shifted. Because um, one might say that she did compressions and that could say, you know, was an effort to save your life. Um, okay, so he's feeling like somebody should have been comfortable enough to also do mouth to mouth. He feels like mouth to mouth was needed. But do you know that they, they no longer recommend mouth to mouth unless you know you have an ambu bag or something i'm okay so here's the thing he's feeling like um he's just feeling a little salty like some mouth to mouth could have been done there was a uh, work done on his chest he's saying that was compressions done to my chest okay he's moved on Kevin has moved on. He's moved on. Um, he's showing the energy of having the world in his hand. There's a woman and a child that he wants them to be taken care of. Um, he's going to visit with them and try to ease their pain. Um, and that's what I have on Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels, I want to thank you and honor you for coming and passing through. Thank you for having me, he says. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. What's the last thing in closing, Kevin? What is the last thing you would say in closing? Don't trust everybody. And I'll leave it at that, he says. Don't trust everybody. And I'll leave it at that. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me with the mediumship reading for Kevin. And um, there are some things that he did share with me that I could not get into on camera uh, for privacy concerns and also just to not be sued. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If there was a positive message in here for you, um, I hope you received it. If there uh, were questions that you had, I hope that they were answered. Uh, until next time, I'm Dr. Angel, metaphysical practitioner. Thank you for joining me.